Hey guys, this is our quick tutorial showing you just how to customize your dock. If you have anything missing, any missing icons, um, this will show you how to add them onto your dock and get anything off that you want from your dock. Just uh, basic customization from anything that you see here. Um, anyways, in order to put folders or anything on it, um, gonna quickly show you. You can just right click here, just on the sidebar, and you're gonna see the preferences there. So from here, you can make any adjustments that you want to your bar but uh, first of all I just want to show you um, here in system preferences you can also go to your dock um, if you don't see system preferences there you can always type it up here and once you find it you can just click on it remember to left click on it once you click on it uh, you can see your dock right there um, from there you customize anything that you want um, I will show you uh, some types of customizations that we can. You can also click like you saw up there, duck, and that way you can go into it. So, um, so if you want any folder just to put down there, such as I have right here, uh, for example, the folder for applications. So I'm just going to open that up. Now if you don't see applications here, um, you can always find it in Finder. Or you can just um, go up there and see it. Anyways, from your applications like this one, I don't have my dock, you can just drag and drop it down here. Now you need to open up a space for that. So I'm just trying to fit it wherever I want it to fit. And once you find the space, you can just drop it there. Um, just make sure not to drop it on top of any other one. So make sure that's right in between. So once you drop it, that's it. That's your shortcut. That's the way you put any icon that you want, any folder that you want on your dock. So, for example, if you want your applications there, you can just drag and drop there on it. So you have a direct link into your applications folder, such as I have that. Um, if you don't want to erase it, you just drag and drop it on top of your desktop. Once you see that little cloud, that means it's out. You haven't deleted your app, you've just deleted it from your dock. So it's not fully deleted from your computer, so don't worry about it. You can you can even have your dock without anything so maybe you, you don't use mission mission control or launch pad that's okay you can always just leave those out or input those in so here I have my basic stuff that I want um, that's just the main stuff that I use personally so getting back to the dock itself the preferences now I'm just gonna quickly show you I make it hide all the time that's just because I want more space on my screen um, I always need more space. Although I have a 27 inch iMac, I still need more space. So that's why I make it hide. Um, I also have a second screen. On my second screen, I do not have the dock, so don't expect that. Um, that will only be on your first screen if you're working with two screens, just in case. And you just click right here just to make it hide. And basically um, any other tool such as the scale and magnification that will just make it bigger um, so as you can see if you put it max you can make it bigger or smaller however you want your dock to be so for magnification let me just bring it up you can see them bigger or not once you scroll over them um, so once you close this it, it will be saved basically and you don't really have to press save or OK on anything. Once you change it, you change it and that's it. So let me just show you how, that, how this looks once you put it in the left. So you can put your dock on the left or your right. Right now you won't see it on my right because like I said my second screen is on my right actually so you won't see that. Um, but if I change it to my left, you, you're going to see the dock on your left. Um, same thing for the bottom, you can make it hide on your left or hide in the bottom like I, like I always do. I recommend that for everybody to make it hide, it just makes sense.